Let's do it, people. Let's get into it. DFW Real Estate, lots going on. 2024 market is beginning to pick up. Don't say we didn't warn you. Don't say we didn't tell you what to do and when to do it by because the momentum is going. The hype is rising and the window of opportunity for a lot of people is closing. At least the window of opportunity to take full advantage of the best options in 2024. It's going to be a good year all around. There's always opportunity in every market as long as you have the right strategy. Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team is here to help you do that. If you've got questions today, call or text 214-310-0008. That's 214-310-0008. If you're not somebody that's uh, used to calling in or texting in, don't hesitate to do that. We are here to help you even if you are not ready to buy or sell yet, or if you're really happy with the home you've got and you just want to make wise choices with it, we are here to help you with that. 214-310-0008 or online at DodgeRemindyTeam.com. This first segment is brought to you, there we go, by Patrick Leros and his team at Cardinal Financial. Uh, you can reach out to Patrick if you're looking to get a mortgage, refinance, if you have any questions about what that's going to look like, what rates are going to look like. I just sent a friend of mine over to Patrick who had some questions uh, about purchasing raw land. So you can go to patrickgleros.com. You can start an application right there on his website. You can give him a call at 972-728-3420, NMLS number 308804. Let's get into it with one of the biggest things that obviously everybody knows is happening this year. Uh, it's an election year. Which means what it is? I, I know it's shocking. It's just crept upon us. Um, I'm really excited about all the text messages I'm getting from random political parties. There's a lot of things that can happen though, and there's there's <sighs> ways that it impacts the real estate uh, market and job market and interest. Like it's just it has so many effects. So, what are some of the the key things that it means for the real estate market? Um, does it matter who gets elected in terms of what that's going to do to the real estate market. Um, does that have an impact? Okay, here's the thing. It has an impact on people's psychology. It almost never has any measurable impact on the actual real estate market. And what I mean by that is this. People will tell us, starting probably soon, we're not really fully into that yet, but we'll start hearing soon, I'm going to wait. And then if you ask people what for, the only real answer people have is to find out who the next president is going to be. Um, and then, historically speaking, statistically speaking, they, they go do whatever they were going to do anyway. So, you know, last election cycle, there were people that said, uh, if Trump gets elected again, we're staying put, or then we're going to buy. Or if Biden gets elected, then we're going to buy, or we'll never buy again, you know, whatever. And then the election happens, you are happy or not happy, and the vast majority, I'm talking like there's no noticeable difference, go and still do whatever they were going to do. So this is not a political commentary that it doesn't matter who the president is, but as far as real estate markets and decisions being made, it doesn't change what people do. It tends to delay what some people do. So oftentimes we will actually see a surge of activity right after a presidential election because people had, for whatever reason, waited to make their decision and the election happens and then they make their decision. Does that make sense? It affects how people think. It affects, affects how people make their decisions and analyze their decisions and when they do it. But for the most part, it really doesn't change. Even if there's a political promise or a platform related to taxes or transfer fees or development or you know restrictions or whatever regulations we just don't see the needle really move one way or the other uh depending on who's in the white house did we see i'm trying to think back now 2020 was obviously no i guess it was when was the last election 2020 four yeah. years ago 2020 so we obviously had covid going on then so i, I don't think there was a huge impact when it came to the presidential well, the, stuff the, the, going on then 
There wasn't. Statistically, there wasn't at all. But the other forces at play were so strong that right. that year, the political cycle was less intense than others. But trust me, still a very big part of the conversation. When, and I completely understand that pe that is one of the factors people are considering. So when do, when do we normally see, for people that are thinking about selling or people that are thinking about buying, when do we normally see during the course of an election year, things begin to change, you know, for the worse, I guess? Yeah, so... And, and as far as the talk of the day, we're there, right? I mean, it's on the news every single day. Candidates are bowing out of the race and fundraising is starting to really ramp up and the advertising is really ramping up. Obviously, we're right here on AM radio. So we are in the thick of where a lot of that political advertising happens and a lot of the media attention is. The answer is it's constant. But I would say the, the, the real ramp up uh, will start in March or April and run all the way through inauguration, right? So you're going to go through the new year next year in 2025 with the absolute crazy town part of this being the fall. Like after summer, August, September, October, November, just crazy. Like almost difficult to talk about anything else. So normally we're telling people that are thinking about selling, like we, we very rarely say like don't sell at this particular time but if yeah. there's a time of the year that we do it's right around that back to school time yeah kind of beginning really the whole month of august and to honest. be clear we will tell individuals yeah it's not the best time for you but what ian's saying is as a blanket statement to the market rarely are we saying no you need to wait for this what we're saying is hey let's create the right strategy for you if now is the best time for you, your family, and your finances, don't let the market dictate that. Let's customize a strategy to take care of you so you can be successful now, as opposed to just being like, oh, rough timing. It's uh, We can create a strategy for you anytime. But yes, the one time, there's probably two times in a normal calendar year that we would say, yeah, that's not the best week to do that. You, know, you could wait a week or two and probably turn out better. And that early, mid-August, Back to school is one of them. And this year, our 2024 forecast from the Tatramani Home Selling Team is if you want to sell and capitalize on the best opportunity in 2024, we would say the best, best case for you is to do that before back to school. So by the end of July. And it's felt like we've had more and more people reaching out to us after hearing that message that right. we've been saying. Our, our phones are ringing like crazy this past week and just people wanting to buy, wanting to sell, wanting to just have conversations about it. Yeah. It's been a really busy week. And, and I, I'd like to take credit for that and say, yes, that's because our 2024 forecast has reached the world. And I think it's partially that. But in a lot of ways, it's people have been sitting on the sidelines for so long that they are finally feeling that sense of permission, that sense that it's it might be wise to go ahead and come on off the couch, get down off the fence of indecision and go, I think we can go ahead and do this. People have been wanting to buy or sell for two years since March of, you know, 22 ish. Um, and now they're like, I think, I think it might be okay. It might not be dumb. It might not be crazy. Rates have come down a little bit. There's a little more activity. There's a little bit more optimism and it might, it might only get more expensive to wait. So maybe I should go ahead and do that. And I would say for most people in most situations, I think that's accurate. Well, Fannie Mae came out recently with an, an updated forecast for their mortgage rate. So we're going to talk about that for a little bit. Let me tell you first about DP Lambert and Goosehead Insurance. If you haven't had your uh, your home insurance, your auto insurance checked out recently, reach out to DP and his team. You can reach out to him by emailing him dp.lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T at goosehead.com, dp.lambert at goosehead.com, 214 614-8595 is his phone number. He saved us thousands of dollars over the years and he saved so many of our clients, customers, friends, like just people we know, so much money. He I and mean, his team do a phenomenal job. Reach out to DP. You can go to touchmoneyteam.com and click the radio tab and find all our recommended pros and vendors right there. Yeah, we're probably looking for a car that we didn't plan to have to be looking for a car right now. So I, I was looking at a few and I text DP, hey, what do you think our insurance costs would change if we bought this one? He's like, dude, just send me the VIN number. I'll tell you exactly what it is. I send him a VIN number. Another team member reaches out and goes, okay, here's the new quote. Do you want to move forward? Did you buy the vehicle? If not, just let us know when you do. This was in like six minutes. That's customer service. That's having an insurance pro that takes care of you. They can change your provider every year if you want. You can always get the best deal and the best coverage. But having a person that for the next 20 years can be your go-to 
advocate and protector, that's a big deal. That matters, and DP's your guy. DP.Lambert at Goosehead.com. Now, hold on real quick, because you brought up the Fannie Mae forecast. And I don't know if you know this, Ian, but Courtney is like a Fannie Mae expert. Mm, didn't know that. Yeah, Courtney, you want to tell people what Fannie Mae... Does Ian even know what Fannie Mae is? What, you want to pop, well, listen, that's... Yes, he knows who Fannie, what Fannie Mae is. Yesterday, that we have, we have a person who's no longer an intern. Many of our listeners know and love Phoenix, the intern, mm -hmm. lady on Wall Street. He's technically not mm -hmm. the intern anymore, but we like to still call him Phoenix, the intern. He's right. he's paid. He's not an intern, but Phoenix, Fred, Freddie's wife. Phoenix literally <laughs> said, uh, "An old woman, something, something, something." We're like, no. And then Courtney clearly corrected him that obviously Fannie Mae is. College funding. Okay. I was setting you up to say Federal National Federal Mortgage, Mortgage Association. Freddie's but, mom? Wait, tell me why we associate it with college loans. We don't. But they're the, the, the government <laughs> entity that often regulates and, and provides for student loans is a similar entity. Okay. Okay. But you got Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, Ginny Mae. You've got all these different abbreviations, acronyms that they're just sort of a colloquialism. Like the, the way people do that is quickly turn them into names. Okay. Uh, I'd like to see what we would do with like the FBI and CIA and things. But anyway. Fibby. Fannie Mae. Fibby. Is all super involved in the mortgage world is really what most people need to know. And they have a forecast back to you yanni donnie they do and it's a positive forecast it's one that is better than what the prior forecast was and they were saying by the end of uh the year as we get into 2025 they were originally saying we would be dipping to just above six percent on a 30-year fixed mortgage this is rate. their previous forecast they're now saying that we will be closer to a five and a half percent fixed mortgage rate which doesn't mm -hmm. sound like a ton but it yeah, is it's, it's significant half a percentage point on your mortgage yeah, rate is huge. a lot especially over 30 years yeah so my commentary on that is you're going to see other forecasts from other entities Nobody knows. So when you see the word forecast, including our Todd Tremonti home selling team, 2024 real estate forecast, this is our educated guess. This is an inference. Um, I would bet a lot on our forecast, but the point is nobody knows. And the world is a very complicated place and politics and, and war and economy and uh, pandemic. I mean, all things can change on a dime, but, the, but this is, an educated guess and Fannie Mae's better at this and has better data and is less biased than a lot of the other groups with forecasts. Well, we've come down significantly. Like if you look at interest rates, this is as a, as a whole, as an average in, uh, at the end of October, which is when it was at its highest. Mm -hmm. It's when I closed. On it the was like seven, seven, five, yep. almost eight yep. right now. You're looking at like six six, yep. and if you can do a you can do a buy down, like you can get into six even, maybe even like a high five. Like it's yep. doable for sure. You absolutely can do that. Now without the buy down, though, we have seen interest rates drop an entire percentage point. Now they went up so fast that a one point for some people doesn't sound like a lot, but it is a tremendous amount, especially when you're looking at a monthly payment. So this is a big deal. We are in the realm of good interest rates right now. It doesn't sound or feel that way because we were in like the world's greatest rates before, but we are in the realm of good interest rates, fair, manageable interest rates, less manageable than when they were lower, but manageable as far as fairness, as far as what's normal. But this prediction is that we might see another three quarters of a point, potentially full point drop by the end of 2024. Now, look, you're, we're talking right now at the end of January. So you're talking about nine months, eight, nine, 10 months, depending on what the end of 2024 means, fourth quarter. So here's what a lot of people are going to hear. And then Courtney is going to warn you not to misinterpret this. A lot of people are going to hear, cool, I'll buy at the end of the year because rates will be lower right, then. Right, right. Courtney, as an unlicensed real estate observer, why would somebody not wait until the end of the year on those lowest rates? If I've learned anything from this show, it is that you want, don't want to wait because 
then everyone's going to be entering the market and then it's What's, a hustle. Okay. So I agree entirely. You overpay. And you're totally right. Why though? Why do I overpay? What's, why are you guys always competition. harping Competition. Yes. Competition. If you took government and economics in high school, one of those is economics. And what is the one, only thing that anyone remembers from their high school economics class? Supply and demand. Supply and demand. Okay. So when demand. And everything I'm reading about the election year is everyone cares about the economy. Yeah. So demand goes way up, right? So rates come down. You're like, basically prices went down. Sure. Now they didn't, but the cost of buying went down, sure. right? So the price of the house is probably going to continue to go up. But if rates come down, more people feel comfortable buying, even though the price of the house went up. That's where we lose people. And we're like, I, you're not following me. So yes, then everyone floods into the market and competes. When was the last time we had that going on, Ian? A couple of years ago. Yeah, 18, 20, 24 months ago. And everyone knew. I was getting interviewed by all the national, local media all the time. Like, tell me the craziest story. People are like fighting each other, waiting outside in line to get in and see a house so they can offer 80, 90, $100,000 more than they even think it's worth to get a house. Would you rather wait for your interest rate to come down or buy now at today's price, not have to compete with 10, 15, 20 other people later, but if the rate comes down, you can still get the lower rate later through a refinance. Now, I'm not saying the refinance is zero cost, but a lot of lenders right now will do that loan for you today and give you a low or no cost refinance later. My advice is buy now while the pricing is more fair and if the rates come down later, because they may or may not, then you can refinance if that makes sense for you. But I would not be waiting to buy until the rates come down to what you're trying to time as their lowest point, because then you're going to have to compete with a ton of people. Now, if you're not financially ready to buy, then you should wait. But if you are ready now, now is a safe, smart time to buy. Hey, happy award season, Todd. Oh, boy, man. <laughs> oh, well, who, winner, did who, you see this? Who's got a trophy case in the real estate office? We do now. Just wonderful. Just so subtle. How do you Todd, feel about being... Uh, we're a top producer. Yeah. We are. Huh? How about <clears throat> that? Top 500 tell, in North Dallas. <laughs> okay. Real producers. <laughs> Courtney, would you just tell the people... Well, she was... Okay, we let, put it all let, on let, Facebook. Let's, let's, I was very excited about it, and it never occurred to me that that... That's like a high number. Like he thinks that it's like, all right, maybe if you're top 10, but who cares about the top 500? Let but me let me be honest. This is this is an in, in office conversation, right? And I love you, Courtney, and I appreciate what you and Robert do for our team. So much of our marketing is incredible and consistent and helpful to our friends and neighbors and listeners and viewers and all those things. But yeah, the cynic in me who's very... I would say cynical. Well, yeah, that's fine. I just said cynic, but yeah. back me up on this or don't. That's fine. I think I'm very fair and realistic with the real estate industry. It comes across as negative because so much of the real estate industry is disappointing. You've got a million plus real estate agents, 80 plus percent of them are part time uh, and do very, very little business. Um, I read a statistic yesterday that over 60% of all real estate agents in 2023 did zero or one transaction. Now, I'm not attacking any one agent. I'm just saying as an industry, the smaller part of that number are the people that are pros. Now, by the way, the 40% or whatever that's left over might have done two or three or four or five. The average for 2023 is probably going to land at around five deals. Most years, it's six or seven or eight. You know, an agent on our team will do 20 to 40. Well, 15 to 40 transactions. So, you know, they're doing three or four or five times the, the, the average. My only point there is to say, we just need to be really careful what we celebrate and how we mislead the marketplace. You know, so there's a lot of agents that are saying, oh, I'm a million dollar producer. Just like, okay, you sold three houses for $330,000. You know, that sounds cool, but be careful trusting someone that is not an expert, right? I'm in the trophy club, diamond producer, platinum club, right? So that's where I say, look, to be a top 500 agent, yes. And the group, Real Producers, that, that does that, that is based on real production data. That's not fake manipulative numbers. Th those are literally the top five 
hundred producing agents in the market. Now we are fortunate and hardworking and we've earned it to be the top of the top of the top of that list also. And that does mean something. I'm not embarrassed to put that out there. I just very careful with the humble brag that looks like something it's not. Now, of course, the Tatrabani Home Selling Team, I'm incredibly proud of our team. We have the best agents in the market. They're only full-time. They're fully dedicated. They specialize in helping sellers or buyers on either Dallas or Fort Worth side of town. We have an incredible staff backing them up, marketing team, technology tools, resources, all those things. So I'm super confident in who we are. I just want to be very careful with the whole, like, I paid to be in your magazine or we made up an award or we're making this look better than it is because the consumer deserves to know who they can trust, who's full-time, who's committed, who can really provide value and who's, you know, a lot of smoke and mirrors. So I was being a little cynical about it and Courtney kind of laughed at me. Then I think in a little bit, you kind of got where I was coming from. I mean, it's fair. Fair enough. Okay. But I was excited about it. I'm excited that you're excited. (laughs) And I'm certainly happy that we are top 500 as opposed to not top 500. Yeah, that'd be bad. I'd rather tell the world that we're like top 18, you know, which we are as opposed to. There is no top 18 award. Well, where is the top 500 award? There is. Um, Dallas, DFW has way too many real estate agents. That's the problem. At the, the highest number I've ever seen, I think we had 44,000 agents. That's just a tremendous number. It's like, you know, everyone's got 20 friends that are agents. And yeah. the hard part is which one do you choose? Yeah. And I would say choose the one that's full-time, fully committed, that has a group of people around them. It doesn't have to be a full brokerage or team, but they need to not be without help. They need to have a track record of success and they need to be able to show you their marketing plan, their negotiation plan, how they do things and prove to you that they can get you where they want to get you, not just be your buddy. What can you tell us about native concrete? Dude, I native concrete is awesome. So uh, Chris and Tony and the guys over there have a very cool company. So they just did our garage floors, fully coated, really good looking floors. And then pretty soon here, they're going to do our basketball court pickleball situation. Uh, A, as a protective defense against the brutal heat and freezes and all the random weather we get, Um, and then also as a cosmetic deal. So if you are thinking about getting any of your concrete coated in any way, and by that I mean like if you want your garage or walkways or pool deck or sidewalk or backyard deck or if you happen to have a basketball court or pickleball court or uh, patio or walkways or anything like that, If it's a solid surface, especially concrete floor, A, they can protect it from a functional standpoint, and B, they can make it look beautiful. Affordable pricing, very quick response times. If you have interest in working with Native, um, just reach out to us for now. Just call the office, 214-310-0008. We're going to onboard them, uh, interview them soon, get some pictures and images of what they've done for us. But... I was really, really happy with what they did for us, and I'm excited to share them uh, with our friends and uh, and clients and neighbors and all those good things. So we'll get them on the show soon, be able to show you what they did for me. But Native Concrete Designs, you can certainly Google them, Native Concrete Designs, and we'll get you in touch with them if you have any needs. Lots going on in the real estate market right now, folks. If you've got questions, 214-310-0008. As you prepare for springtime, make sure you get your landscaping in order. Now's a great time to get trees and shrubs in the ground while we have wet soil and we can roots can get set. Uh, it's actually a safe time, even with the freezes, as long as you're planting correctly. And then by the springtime, you have some established plants and they're really ready and they can survive the summer. Plus, you can enjoy your outdoor time. Any of your landscaping needs, whether that's design, consultation, landscape construction, landscaping maintenance, retaining walls, irrigation, tree work, they do all that stuff for me. Keenlandscaping.com. That's K-E-A-N-E, keenlandscaping.com. Welcome back, party people. Welcome back. Thanks for hanging with us through the break. Lots to talk about as we look forward to the 2024 real estate market. Let me just tell you, the 2024 real estate market really took off about five days ago. The phone started ringing like crazy. People that we've been talking to for one, two, three years said, okay, I think it's time. I think it's ready. I like these rates better. Uh, I want to get out there before the summer rush. Uh, I want to beat the competition. I want to get my house ready to get on the market now so I can catch uh, that run up. Um, I want to sell and buy while I still can. 
uh, started asking the right questions. So now, now is the time to get your either get bought or sold, or at least to get your game plan together so that you can get it done this year. Um, give us a call, 214-310-0008. That's the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. We are here. Whether you are ready to buy or sell right now, we're here to add value in your life. We believe, everyone on this team believes, they are in the right spot to use their God-given gifts and abilities to add value in the lives of others. Sometimes that means just giving you advice. Sometimes that means helping you see things clearly, getting a plan together for next year. Other times it means buying and selling with the best strategy for your personal, financial, and dream lifestyle goals. But all of that starts with a phone call, 214-310-0008. Or you can text us if you want, 214-310-0008. And then we have a conversation. Doesn't mean you have to do anything. Doesn't mean you have to sign anything. Doesn't mean you have to pay anything. But we start that conversation so you can have the confidence to go about your year knowing about when and about what it's going to take for you to achieve your real estate goals. So call or text 214-310-0008 or at a bare minimum, Google my name, Todd Tremonti, read some reviews. If you're ready to talk, fill out a form, call any number, text any number, and we'll take great care of you. But if you're thinking you might want to move this year, the smart, safe, responsible step is to reach out. It's not to wait until you're more ready because there's a very good chance you're going to wait too long. Most people wait too long. It doesn't mean they can't buy or sell. It just means they have fewer options and they don't end up in as great of a situation as they could have if they would start that conversation earlier, get their ducks in a row, sleep like a baby knowing they have a plan, and then go execute that plan to near perfection. ToddTremontiTeam.com, 214-310-0008. Yep, and the next conversation that most people, if they're going to need a mortgage, are going to have is going to be with Patrick Cleros and his team at Cardinal Financial. Uh, They can help you with getting a mortgage, with refinancing, really with any question that you might have with anything to do with interest rates or just what they need to do to be able to get a mortgage, what that looks like, what buy-downs are, things like that. Go to patrickglaros.com where you can get all the information. You can even start an application on his website, patrickglaros.com, G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickglaros.com, 972-728-3420, NMLS number 308804. Let's get into a little bit. We've, we've had some questions about, you know, we've talked, we talk a, you know, a decent amount about homes on land. Um, and so let's talk about somebody that is, let's just call it like a, family of five or something like that they're looking for three at least three bedrooms on at least an acre of uh land and they have a budget of about five hundred thousand dollars okay this happens where, a lot actually yeah where, where can people buy like what, what are options for folks yeah this is one of the more common requests we get especially from our youtube channel from people that are out of the area we certainly get it from people in, in the area as well that's like hey if i had a budget of 500 ish can I get what you guys are talking about? Can I get the big backyard property? Can I get an acre or so or so with a decent or better house in the area that I live? So looking right now, literally right now as we sit live from our local multiple listing system, the Realtor Broker Database, there's 90 plus properties under 500,000 over an acre with more than three bedroom, three bedrooms or more, okay? I'm only looking at Collin County, Tarrant County, and Dallas County. So there are more if you go to, you know, other counties further out, Kaufman County, you know, Denton County, and beyond. So the point is there are hundreds and hundreds within even that criteria. Obviously, if you increase that price point, you start to see way more. But here's a couple interesting things I wanted to point out. You might think, well, there's no way I could get something in town and it depends on what you mean by in town but uh in the richardson addison area here's one at 370 um in the saxy area here's one at 479 rockwall rowlett area here's one at 374 and the areas that i think are really ideal for this type of deal are for example one ring out levon uh, uh, Nevada, Princeton, for example, here's one, 489,000 in Levon, which is out by Lake Levon, kind of Rockwall, Rowlett, Wiley area. 
Uh, three bed, two bath, 1,804 square feet. This property sits on 1.28 acres, um, 1992 built. So it's not, you know, super, super old on a really good looking lot, pretty good shape, brick ranch style house. Okay. So that's, that's achievable. Um, if you're willing to go to like a Princeton type area, uh, 435,000, this home, um, is built in 2002. So not terribly old at all, about 1800 square feet, three bedroom, two bath. Um, if you're willing to go a little farther, um, when you get out east of Lake Levon, um, you can find, you know, a little bit more land. Uh, you can find two and three acres under 500. Um, if you're if you're staying in town, trying to be closer to town, you're going to find some of these things that are probably older, um, but still some really cool opportunities. So believe it or not, um, even down in the Turtle Creek area, there's a few little sneaky ways to get this done uh, in older, smaller homes. If you're looking for larger homes, you're going to want to go a little further out and certainly some bigger budgets would be helpful. Carrollton, there's some really cool, attractive stuff. Um, and then by all means, there's quite a few options uh, on the edges of Fort Worth. Like, for example, in the Burleson area, um, you know, some really good looking houses, more like 2,500 square feet, four bedrooms and up. And we're looking at like an acre and a half. So I'm not going to continue to rattle through those. But the point is they're out there. Um, they're mostly on kind of the suburb, um, outer ring, but it depends on how you define that. Because for a lot of people, you could be downtown in under an hour from just about every place I just said, you have access to movie theaters and restaurants and shopping, uh, big box stores. Plus you get some of the benefit of some of the smaller town feel. So you've got jobs in the area, recreation, activities, families, resources, shopping, kind of all the good stuff. So there are way more options than most people think in that area. Now, if you bump that budget up to 750 or more, you're quadrupling, if not more, the number of options you have. So, um, we believe obviously the big backyard homes on land, you know, way of living is super attractive and we help lots and lots of people do that. If you're thinking about buying, selling, uh, or investing in a home with a big backyard, meaning not quite a farm and a ranch, but you know, one to 10 acres uh, of a backyard, we specialize in doing that. We also specialize in the most desirable neighborhoods across DFW, but you know, you wanna see some absolutely gorgeous homes in the North Texas area, we cannot wait to help you find a great house with an incredible yard so that you and your family have room to run and play. You have the privacy, you've got room to have a workshop or uh, run a business out of the house or bring all those things that a lot of people are going out for, the storage, the pool, the park, the recreation, and bring all that to the house uh, on a bigger property. So if you're interested in big backyards, give us a call 214-310-0008. That's 214-310-0008. Call or text, or you can find us online at DodgerMightyTeam.com. So I was interested to see what increasing to 750 would do, just out of interest, and I limited it this time to only single detached homes. Mm -hmm. so it doesn't include anything else. Single detached homes at 500, there was 56. Okay. Uh, but when you did increase it to 750, it did actually quadruple. It yep. went to 215 homes, and now you're bringing in way more places. You're bringing in the Saxes, the Wiley, the Lucas. You're coming in a full mm -hmm. ring. Right yeah. now, take note, Courtney, of how astonished he was that my numbers were accurate. That was pretty impressive. I just like fact-checking. Um, and then, yeah, so the, the, if, you, if you pictured the city of Dallas and the city of Fort Worth each as a dartboard or as like a you know target, you know, those bullseyes are downtown. You're not going to find a lot of one acre residential properties there, period, much less regardless of your budget. But uh, as those rings go out, there are more and more and more options. And then as your budget goes up, there are more and more options in each ring. That's yeah. pretty logical. But some people have this block in their mind that once you get to a bigger property, all things change and really it doesn't change that yeah, much. if you want to be south of dallas or south of fort worth and you've got mansfield that begins to get way more properties duncanville desoto Prairie, lancaster cedar, cedar hill. hill yeah all of those places yeah they just have more and more options yeah and we love 
selling in those areas. We do a lot in Benbrook, which is sort of the, a wiley ish type community. Uh, you know, when we compare the west side and the east side, some of these areas are somewhat comparable. Uh, and we do a lot of business in those areas. Anyway, so if you're thinking about buying, selling, investing, or just dreaming about a home with a big backyard, let us know. We love it. We love to put a plan together to get you there or get one sold for you, whether it's today, tomorrow, next month, next year, or down the road when the kids graduate or kids grow up or whatever the case is. 214-310-0008 or Todd Tremonti team. Com. All right, so we talked in the first half about the election, what that's going to mean. You know, we're through the holidays now. We're kind of getting towards spring break a little bit. We're you know, heading that way. Um, and then before we know it, we're going to be in the summer and school's going to be out. So w- what are some of the things that folks need to be doing that are thinking about, you know, selling up once, uh, once kids' school is over and things like that? What are some of the things that people can do now and not wait too long on. Well, I don't want to be a broken record, but the thing everyone should do, if you're considering considering buying or selling a home really at any point in the future, I know this sounds crazy. You might have just bought and you're like, hey, I know this is a five or six year house until the kids reach this age or I achieve this job level or we retire or whatever it is. I think you should start prepping for that later. You don't need to spend a ton of time and energy on it, but I would jump on the phone with a full-time dedicated expert and be like, hey, we're five or six years out. Anything we should be doing now to benefit us later? And maybe that is, yeah, get to know some areas. Every once in a while, go drive some neighborhoods. Every once in a while, you know, um, if you have a friend that lives over there, you know, go visit them and just check it out. Uh, You know, start thinking about the budget impact of that. How does that apply to your retirement savings? Whatever. The fact is, if you give yourself more time, you'll have more options. So specifically, if um, you're planning this year, I'm going to say it again. If you want to buy this year, I think you should be in a hurry right now. Now, don't 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 be in a hurry in a negative way, meaning if you're not ready, don't force yourself to be ready. But if you're ready and you've been wanting to buy for a while, I, I think you're gonna your best bet this year is to get that done, completely done and finished by spring break, which means you're kind of in about a 30 day window right now. Now, I think if you're gonna sell, you don't need to be in quite as much of a rush but I would want to get that done before back to school. So I'd want to get that done by the end of July. Now, if if you don't need to do that this year, then the way you plan ahead is by just scheduling an in-office strategy session with one of our team members, with one of our full-time agents, and just say, hey, I, you know, our kids graduate two years from now. We want to plan to get the most money possible out of our house and then downsize over here or get on a golf course or get some more land or whatever the case may be. Start the conversation now. We're not talking about a ton of work between now and then. We're talking about more clarity, more certainty, better sleep, more confidence. What's wrong? Who doesn't want those things? Everyone we talk to wants those things. But what people tend to be afraid of is talking to a realtor that's going to twist their arm and like try to convince them to do it now if that's not what's best for them. It's not what we do. To be brutally honest, We often have a waiting list. We are not going to try to pressure you into doing something that you don't want or need to do. What we love to do, what gives us purpose, what is consistent with our core values is to get to know you and your wants and needs a little bit and then put together a game plan, whether it's a one-year plan, a 10-year plan, or a two-day plan to help you, your family, and your finances achieve your best results. So that's my advice is if you have real estate plans of any kind, at any point in the future, let's have a conversation. If it's like one quick question about a roofer, great, give us a call. By the way, I'm gonna tell you, reach out to Jordan Collins at PMR Roofing. Literally email jordan at pmrroofing.com or go online to pmrroofing.com or you can call them at 469-409-ROOF or you can always go to our website, tatramoneyteam.com, click on the radio tab and see all of the pros that we talk to here on the show and that we personally use and that we like a lot. But the point is, just call us. We do this all day, every day. We work extraordinarily hard to have great people to connect you with and to help you sleep better at night knowing that your finances and your wealth building and your protection of yourself and your family and where you eat and sleep and protect and rest and invest in relationships, your home, which is where we think you do those things, is dialed in. It's what you want, or you're getting closer and closer to what you want, even if it's a 10-year plan. We literally feel joy and purpose 
when we get to use our God-given gifts and our expertise and our decades of experience to help your life be more meaningful and purposeful and enjoyable. And we do that through real estate. So give us a call, 214-310-0008, 214-310-0008, or online at touchmoneyteam.com. All right, producer Courtney's got the mic, y'all. Full price Courtney on the mic. (laughs) Well, you... um we talk a lot about homes on land. A lot of people are looking for land as an investment. Mm -hmm. Like why do you prefer or recommend people get like land that has a house on it? So that's to be clear, we that is not always our recommendation, but for most people, that's their best bet. The reason is most people don't have the time, energy, maybe financial resources, don't want to, you know, the tolerance for the complexity or maybe even drama of, acquiring land, figuring out what the local laws, rules, and deed restrictions, zoning allow, getting architectural plans, either being their own general contractor or finding a general contractor, wading through all the emotional ups and downs and timing of building a home, and then the settling in process. Most people just don't want to deal with all that. So they'd rather find a home that 30 days from now they can be living in and enjoying. They can have the birthday party. They can have room to play. They can have room to work out in the workshop. They can have the pool. They can have the fruit trees or whatever it is. That's why that is far and away the most common thing when someone says to us, hey, dude, we want that dream of a big backyard. Great. Let's go find a big backyard that's already got a house in front of it or, you know, attached to it. But we also love to help people. And it's definitely a small percentage of the time compared to the other that are like, I want to build this whole dream, wink, wink, from the ground up. Uh, And we love to do that. We help people do that all over the Metroplex. You know, get that weird, cool, big half acre lot that's at the corner of a cul-de-sac in the neighborhood, which is the biggest backyard in the neighborhood, or go 10, 20 minutes further out and get two and a half acres where they can do it all. We love to do that, but we obviously do a lot more of the house is already there. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't need work. The lot's already there. Maybe it's a raw blank slate, or maybe it's got a bunch of amazing stuff. Usually it's in the middle. It's like, that's a really cool lot, but we could add this, or we could improve that, or we could change this. And it's a dreaming, creating process. And we love to do that. If you're interested in doing that, call me right now, 214-310-0008. Or go to this website that my son's sending you to. Touchmoneyteam.com. His voice doesn't sound like that anymore, Courtney. Dad. Dad. I had to buy him cleats the other day. Uh, the lar- largest shoe in the house now. What size? Uh, he's Bigger than yours? almost a 10. Wow. I mean, bro. Ninth grade? Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. You think he's going to be tall? Yeah, for sure. He is tall. He's I mean, like a pup with paws. How big is he going to get? so close to passing his mama, and she's like, not yet. Uh, he's just smoking. My parents, my, I mean, everyone. He's, anyway, nobody here cares about that, except for that um, I am at that age now where seeing your kids grow is a little bit sad. Um, but I'm a big fan of my kids. I don't know if you know that. I think men give other men the worst advice about marriage and parenting, and I refuse to do it. Marriage is like, other than Jesus, the greatest gift ever in my life. And parenting is the single greatest learning opportunity I have ever had. I'm like, you know what? I don't like that about you. You know what? I'm exactly the same way. (laughs) You know what? I love that about you. I wish I was more like you. You know what? That drives me crazy. I don't even know how to guide and lead you to be this way. I'm going to need to go do some learning and growing of my own. Uh, Anyway, this show is about real estate, but it's also about life. And that is one of the facts of life. So as you're navigating those things, if you're like, you know what? I would love to nurture and grow my marriage, my children, or my singleness or myself or whatever with a big backyard. God, we'd love to help you do that. <laughs> Louis said the cutest thing last night. She said, my teacher said that I need to learn to read so that, you know, to help me grow up. But you tell me not to grow up all the time. I do too. Thank you. And, Laney, and I'm like, don't you dare grow up. My youngest is like, I don't even want to grow up. This is fun. I'm yeah. like, oh, you have got it figured out, sister. It's because you got her a big backyard. Oh, she's got a big backyard. And she's living clean. I'll tell you what, all this rain and ice, though, we just stand inside and look at it. I'm ready to get out there. 
Man, you're lucky you don't have dogs. All right, listen, people, <laughs> here's the deal. If if when I talk about the dream of a big backyard, you're like, yeah, that would be great. I don't know how to win or how I could pull that off. Would you call it? Would, it's, let, me, let us give you a gift. Don't do me any favors. Let us give you a gift of helping that dream come to life. Maybe it's two months from now. Maybe it's two years from now. Maybe it's 20 years from now. I promise you. Whether there's any money to be made on our end or not, we would love to help you put some definition to that dream, maybe put a timetable to it, maybe give you a couple people to talk to to help clarify budget and realistic uh, outcomes. 214-310-0008. Call or text 214-310-0008 or go online to toddtremontiteam.com and... Find out which your home would sell for right now and under a minute at ToddTremontiTeam.com. All right. There's a lot of other things happening in the market right now, right? You got presidential election, you got interest rates changing, you got very low inventory in the real estate market. It's not the market that it was in the fourth quarter, in the fall, and going into the holidays. It's changed. And it's changed a couple of ways. Inventory has snuck back down. As we finish the year fairly strong, people bought homes at the end of the year. They're continuing to buy now. And I'm telling you, when people look back on 2024, they're going to say, God, those people that bought houses at the beginning of 2024 were so smart. Like, I don't know. I don't know how I missed it. People are going to kick themselves and regret not buying while prices were slowly climbing before they climb really fast. While rates were lower, but not as low as maybe they were, and get and taking advantage of the kind of like blind spot for a lot of people and the lull, the calm before the storm. Don't be that person. If you and your finances and your family are ready to buy and sell, my recommendation is you buy a house before spring break and you sell your house before the end of July, before back to school. If you want to even talk about either of those things, call or text 214-310-0008. Go online to toddtremontiteam.com or just Google my name, Todd Tremonti. Fill out any form, call or text any phone number, read the article, read the blog, go read 700 and something reviews from people that have worked with us. We just want to add value in your life. We believe it's our calling and our gift and our joy to do that.